Gladys to the Queen and Prince Philip, who has a special way for the children, continue their tour of Victoria with a visit to Melbourne Cricket Ground. Amongst the great gathering of about 60,000 are many ex-servicemen and women. Those who are confined to wheelchairs are also reviewed by the Queen. The 13 Australian holders of the Victoria Cross, most of them won in the First World War, are present for this Mammoth Services reunion. Seven hundred and fifty children form the letters E.R. in the centre of the ground in welcome to Her Majesty and the Duke. Together, a young boy and girl approach the Queen to present a bouquet, a tribute from the whole gathering. On the following day, the royal couple journey to Kuyong Tennis Courts, where Australia meet a challenge from South Africa. Lewis Hode, the Davis Cup star, wins this point. It was at Kuyong that Australia beat America for the Cup and players who took part are among those presented to the Queen. The famous coach Harry Hopman receives a handsome memento of the occasion. Lewis Hode is presented to the Royal Visitors. Next is Ken Rosewall, the 19-year-old Australian champion. Another sporting event on the same day is at Flemington Racecourse, where the Queen Elizabeth Stakes is won by Bromis, whose sire was owned by King George VI. During a stay of about three and a half hours, the Queen and her husband watch the Duke of Edinburgh Australia Cup. It's another close finish, with Sunnish winning in the last drive. It's obviously a happy occasion for the Queen during her crowded visit to Melbourne. <laughs>